Well, here we are. The Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. Yeah. Some came looking for work running freight and cargo. Still, there's only so many ships to go around and so many workers. So others lend their weapons to the huts in the exchange. It's become a prime base for raider recruitment across the galaxy. It means glorious jewel in Hattis, but don't let that fool you. It's the central breeding grounds of the huts. Nar Shadda orbits it. Nal Hutta's as slimy as the huts. Lots of swamp and bloated gas. It's where those slugs reach out and grab chunks of the galaxy. Trust me, we're not going to go anywhere near the place unless we want to be washing the stink out of our clothes for the next few years. It won't be easy. There's so much traffic on Nar Shadda. Finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. Anyone flying the Star Lanes has docked on Nar Shaddaa at least once. I wouldn't want to live there, and I doubt anyone does by choice. Well, not everyone who came to Nar Shaddaa were soldiers. A lot of worlds were destroyed by the Mandalorians, and the Jedi. Left a lot of people wandering the galaxy. Shouldn't be too hard. There's so much traffic on Nar Shaddaa, finding anyone on the moon's surface is going to be hard. We're going to touch down in the refugee sector. There's a lot more traffic there, and it's harder for people to spot you coming in. Or find you once you arrive. I've plotted a course for the refugee sector, and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's going to find us here. ジャワジャシムポエンドラカワイチレンドモモパラマカワナアバワシユクロレンマンマポシチノララホントのサカジタバドワナマチチャキチュノカダミレニトレンフィロソニヘコチュパナレットアタマクチャ Request, if Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. Cavadumpe masura cool, popayi, botenya, tachimorosa gamsa, javasco bosabjob. 
Regiso Carve Noxo, Mochi Tosa Sagrindeo, Kichu no Cada Mirenito. <laughs> Rin filoso ni heko chupa naret ata makcha. Da hupo botenyo go jucho picha gwen taba ni sochu norotoga proto lala shishi jula dosa jibacha ratak mansan dokosha na chitolo. Observation. Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. Doveri nincha yonona shitasa chuch. Doveri nincha yonona shitasa chuch. Goli rosodish. Ranta kras mobas. Ah, the beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. This moon, it teems with life. It is difficult to center oneself. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Sure, most of the landing pads around here are unclaimed, or should be. They're pretty badly maintained, so they're not safe to land on. Well, I mean, not this one. But they all have the reputation, so we should be all right. I think. Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The refugee sector's a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the Exchange or the Huts might want a piece of. Yeah. In all its glory. Don't get your hopes up from what you see here, though. As soon as we hit the main sector, that's when the smell and the mobs can get pretty bad. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Then just being here should be enough. People in the refugee sector don't tend to ask too many questions. We should be safe enough. There should be a central trading hub up ahead. Their stock's probably not the best, but they may have some things worthwhile. Well, that means finding either a bounty hunter, a ranking member of the Exchange, or someone willing to talk. None of which are too appealing. Bounty hunters in the Exchange are going to want to shoot you. And someone who is willing to talk is willing to talk to anyone, which means trouble. The bounty is a waste of our efforts. All that matters is the Jedi. The intentions of the thugs of this moon are of no consequence. It's up to you. There's bound to be someone in the sector willing to spill their guts for a credit or two. Finding a Jedi, or anyone else touched by the Force here, will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions... It makes detection difficult, but this moon does not get any smaller while we wait. This sector is as good as any place to begin our search, so let us begin. Well, if we're going to search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense, might as well start as soon as possible. All right, if you have any questions, just ask. We should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! Uh-oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its thrust into my landing pad! No, really? Thanks for the insight! And here I was, thinking you were a smart human! I got another ship coming in, and unless you want that piece of junk's hull crushed flat, you better move it! Got it? That's none of your business! All you need to know is that they're going to be firing up their quad lasers if they find your ship squatting there when they arrive. Yeah, right now all I'm hearing is talk. How much you offering? Done. Pleasure doing business with you. I got some visitors booked for your space, but I'm sure the two of you can work it out when they arrive.
No, look, you can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Well, they work for the Exchange, for a Quarren named Visquis. He's looking to step up in the Exchange. The only language the Exchange respects is money, so Visquis is trying to increase his profits by using the refugees here in Nar Shadda as a cheap labor force. We're only good to him as slaves and merchandise. He wants to keep us in one place so he can control us. That's always been the way. Well, except lately. The exchange has been clamping down on the refugee sector hard, and I've no idea why. They've started kidnapping people, hurting others, but there seems to be no reason to it. <laughs> you don't. He comes to you. If he's got reason to. Either because you can help him out, or because you're making trouble. Either way, it's not a good thing. Whatever your reasons, thanks. I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits, maybe help another refugee in need? Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? The Force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Seeing another elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Good. Mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place.
Gjerë rektar, që menë se bëjnë nga rrugë këtë të, o ndë gjuqë më mëtasë, o bënë kishë më në cici. Fela di bënë të mune kërënë këtë të? Tere, wana gjunë në konata delë e rëgunë në të në... Da e rinë të rrungë ka ure kërë pa pëllënë në rëndë shkinka. Tere, që e wëmenu të të rrë rrë e sënë i sënë të në. Që rrë nëna gëndosë, rrë minë e kërë rrë kërë kë Fjallë rëtorë në padë në ringët e lë kamarada të lëfibu nëmbu dhe bëtërana që një rara. Sulstan's hearing's pretty sharp, if you couldn't guess from the lobes. Va, te vaka rewaare, su më kohën qërë në rëgrom. Mune, i dhe rëriba kohën në dozo? Va rinë keshkë, punë se të lanë zomenta tasa? Dhe rinë të rrunë të wakë rëjë kohë e wapë gjerë e bu. Nënë su të lëpache në kërësa dhe rrënë e grajë rë kërë dhe lënë të qëllore e në. Big ears here might know someone who can change the Ebon Hawk's ID signature. Could be useful for avoiding notice. Tere wana jun konata delo e raguno antuna. Da e rinto rung kawere kare papa nala ranchinga. Tere che we menoto to rere seni senten. Tere wana jun konata delo e raguno antuna. Da e rinto rung kawere kare papa nala ranchinga. Tere che we menoto to rere seni senten. Tere wana jun konata delo e raguno antuna. Da e rinto rung kawere kare papa nala ranchinga. Tere che we menoto to rere seni senten. Dhe rinë të rrunë të wakë vërëjë kërë e wapë gjerë e bu. Nënë so të lëpache në kërësa dhe rrënë e grajë rrë kërë dhe lënë të qëllore e në. Dose në e grajë vëllën të rrë kërë e wapë të rrë të rrënë qëngë rrë dhëna. Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Your ship? I'd lay off the spice if I were you. That's our ship, not yours. Was I talking to you? I tell you, that ship's mine. It's the Ebon Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid-Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. We'll see about that. Watch yourself. Nar Shada can be a rough place. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the back. No one has to know. Grachi, ubachi, compa duana musca, na bosca wamba.
thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon, with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. One might as well heal the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass, and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Healing is manipulation, and if you do not realize it yet, then you will discover that an act of healing depends largely on your perspective. Manipulation is done through propelling events, or selected ones, into motion. It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the truth of what you believe, of hearing it echoed around you in life. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Doveri nincha, yo no na shi tasa chuch. Wana tu mo bayes? Dorcha no banka ni honkades? Tor senta we not to no tucha to chara makaka musuran kana Please look I, I already paid the exchange what I have uh, but I, uh, oh, look, here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. Uh, all right. What'd you want to know? The bounty hunters don't have any one place where they stick around. Best thing I can tell you is if you want to find one, 
Get a bounty on your head and then wait. Are you serious? All right. I must be doing something right for you to come along and bail me out like you did. I guess the Jedi Code is still alive and well. If you say so, I'm not sure I believe it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are gonna be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. Thank <laughs> you. 